Well, I got the XS Sights Tactical Rifle Shotgun Tritium Front Post Night Sight put on backup sight style. But I'll use them primary here on the ETI Bulldog Blaster. Got it decked out before the sights to just about $500 with a front grip and a surefire light. Ready for home defense. Especially now that I got the wonderful XS sights put on them. Big rear ghost ring I like for use with this shotgun. Illuminated tritium front post with a white vertical stripe. For easier target acquisition and low light settings. And uh, there we go, guys. So use code Dan the Wolfman to get 10% off access sights. Look in the full video if you want. Reasons why I think the R3D night sights are the best for your pistol needs with that big bright convex phospho around the big bright orange and kind of subdued but with tritium in them subdued rear the r3d for your pistol needs and i talk about the other sites access sites uses as well the f8 the big dot etc so look at the full video and also the full unboxing and the full range review that should be upcoming soon on the ati bulldog bullpop only 26 inches for home defense thank you Greetings and salutations, everybody. Dan the Wolfman here, also Pew Reviews. Please subscribe to both channels. I have my Bulldog Blaster, my Bullpop Bulldog Blaster right here, which uh, YouTube's been demonetizing every Pew video as of a couple of days ago, it seems. So that sucks. Anyone that wants to, you know, fight the power and help me out, I'd really appreciate it by getting down there in the comments. That helps fight the Elgo shadow banning of all our types of channels. And, uh, you know, maybe even, you know, hook me up with some Patreon now that I'm going to need a little more help with expenses uh, for uh, freedom pills and whatnot. Anyway, guys, quick little video. Uh, I've only shot this once today. Hopefully it will be the second time if I get to it. And uh, almost getting reliable. Once it gets reliable, uh, hopefully with some lower recoil buckshot of some kind, I will be happy. It was already reliable with slugs right away. And birdshot out of the five round magazine right away. Still had some hiccups with uh, different birdshot out of the 10 round magazine. But this is perfect for, it's a very uh, compact 26 and a half inches or whatever it is um, for home defense. And uh, this video is about access sites, XS, I say access a lot, XS sites. They're my favorite night sight company. For a lot of reasons. I have tried various of their night sights on pistols. Got the new R3D, my absolute favorite night sights for most pistols uh, here on the left. And they were, were nice enough to send out this tactical rifle shotgun flip-up sights with CSAT and tritium stripe. I don't even know what a CSAT is. Let me know in the comments, you more tactical guys than me. Uh, this has a tritium front. Uh, quickly before we do that, I'll just mention the night sights, the big dot. If you're older, your vision's going, you're only worried about the close range in that is 95% or so of uh, defensive gun use, get a big dot. Especially on short barreled pistols, the big dot's really good, or if you're getting older, boom. Um, their F8 sights are very good, probably more for the 5 inch uh, type of pistols, duty level SHTF pistols. For the common CCW pistols, my favorite night sights by far are their new R3D night sights. I've reviewed them in uh, um, in my Access or my um, A-Rex Delta Gen 1 review. Uh, I talked about them a lot. But, guys, it's a front. Let's see if we can open these really fast. So, this is kind of an Access night sights review. Look at the, the rear here. So, we got all kinds of goodness. Wide enough for quick target acquisition. Pretty much a blacked out rear, except when it's so dark, those night sights, that tritium are glowing. But it's not like big, same size as most night sights that come from factories that stink because it's in your visual field. You want to be focusing, superimposing that front sight, target threat focused on your target. And the beautiful, beautiful big, and it's convex, and it has phosphorescent around the tritium. So this picks up the light, and boy, does this really, really glow. Black that rear with some tritium there. The best R3D access for all these reasons are the best night sights I have tried so far. Now, I haven't had Trijicon HDs, but at, you know, half the price, um, pretty much more, more subdued, blacked out rear, maybe with tritium or without, 
um, with a bright orange front, especially convex like this with the phosphorescent around it, really catches your eye, and that's what you need for a carry gun. Those are my favorite carry gun night sights by far. All right, let's open up. I don't know what these are going to be like. Tactical rifle shotgun. The reason why, number one, are these are plastic. Number two is it's hitting low so far, and I've tried the dial both ways. I don't know if the dial is really even working, uh, and it's hitting too low. Now, home defense, this is going to be anywhere from 1 to 11 yards, possibly, you know, probably 8 if I had to take a shot, depending on how quickly uh, dogs woke me up. And how groggy I was and how quick to respond. But by that time, maybe they were at my bedroom door and it's contact distance. But it could be up to 10, maybe 11 yards. Um, so, flip up, peep, rear. Flip up, peep, rear. Front with a nice tritium vertical line. So not only is it white, but it has a tritium insert there as well. Let's see if I can hit these lights. So unfortunately, there's too much ambient light coming through the shade right to the left of camera. Uh, I can see it. I just checked in uh, dark out rooms. They're all very, very bright, all very, very good. The white's going to help you vertical line, pick up, uh, you know, good long distance shots through that big wide peep. Oh, and it has a, uh, it has a smaller peep. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. So it has a smaller peep for your long range shots you can flip to or for your CQB work if you like it here. Now on a rifle, I'm not sure if I would love that rear notch or not, but on this, I already decided to flip that one from the peep to the kind of vertical notch that, that comes on the bulldog, but they're plastic, you know, eh. Um, this, so you could have it here and still make fast CQB shots without the ghost ring on top. So that's actually good if you want to run it that way. That might be how I run the shotgun if I get used to not looking through the peep, but through the top notch. Or you got this really wide for CQB. Uh, I don't know about my line up here with the camera guys. Sorry about that. Um, you know, really, really good. So hopefully the, I can bump this off and try it out today. Uh, we'll see. I had to hammer those on because of the specs and the rail. Not exactly perfect, you know, but it, for a budget blaster, I got this decked out. Um, not including these sights, but right now... You know, $20 foregrip, a clamp, uh, a cheapest light. Right now, this is a $500 perfect blaster once I get it running reliably uh, with buckshot. With full power buckshot, no problem, I'm sure, already. But I have, you know, lower reduced recoil, mid recoil, you know, number four, number one, a double aught. And some really, really hot, I think, uh, Europe uh, double aught. So uh, we'll find that out in a minute. But anyway, guys, I love excess sights i really really do you got a pistol pick up the r3d if you got a rifle and you're not running a red dot or you want to back up with a tritium for shtf or whatever uh look into the tactical rifle shotgun i think this is going to work out really really well on the bulldog and time to uh get it on there and see how she does look for my full uh, bulldog review video to see how it goes thank you everybody Guys, I can't believe I almost forgot the reason for making the video is use discount code DanTheWolfMan. Uh, hopefully, I'll have the link below for XS Sites, but use discount code DanTheWolfMan because I want to pass on that 10% savings to you. Again, highly recommend the R3D for any pistol you got or others for what I described below. And hopefully, these tactical rifle shotgun work out really well on the ATI Bulldog or maybe if you have a evil black pistol, something like that. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Give in the comments down below. Do you have experience with any of the different access site systems? Which ones do you like? Thank you very much.